I've got 10 clones of your favorite Tom Ford fragrances. Each of these I am recommending for one reason or another. They're amazing. The price is awesome. They last a long time, etc. cetera. Uh, so these are all recommendations. There's actually 11 rather than 10, but who's counting? We're gonna get into this list, but before we do, remember to subscribe to the channel if you want videos like this every couple days. And also let me know down in the comments, what would you add to this list of Tom Ford clones? And why not give the video a like if you like it? Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, we're gonna start with probably my favorite in this list. You know, it was one of the earlier ones I got a few years ago whenever it came out. Uh, but it's still probably my favorite. I absolutely love this stuff. I love Tobacco Vanille, which this is a clone of, and this one has done excellent. It's very similar, probably in that 90% similar range. It's long-lasting. It's powerful. It's gorgeous. I'm talking about Mason Alhambra's Tobacco Touch. And this line has been rumored to be discontinued, but you can still get them at really good prices pretty much everywhere. Uh, I'll leave a link at the bottom of the video to the ones that I can find a good price on. So again, it is Tobacco Vanille in all of its sweet, spicy vanilla goodness. They did a great job with this one, Tobacco Touch. All right, another clone. This one is shocking because it is probably the cheapest fragrance on this list. Usually you can get it in around that $10 to $15 price range, but I'm telling you this stuff is awesome. Another clone of Tobacco Vanille. This one is by Parfums Belcam. This is called Bold Tobacco. This one is a more licorice forward version of the Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille DNA. If you like licorice, if you like root beer, that sort of sweet, spicy, kind of handcrafted root beer vibe, this fragrance is incredible. It's about a you know nine hour fragrance, super cheap, very good quality, smells every bit as high quality as the Mason Alhambra does. I've recommended this to all of you and many of you have picked it up and said, oh my gosh, I can't believe how good this stuff is. So check it out. All right, this next one, I have only seen this one come into stock like, you know, maybe three times in the past three years. But if you can find it, and I wouldn't go on eBay and pay 60 bucks for it, but if you can find it anywhere, you know, in the 40s or so, I would say grab it because this stuff is fire. It's a clone of Tom Ford Noir Extreme. This is Noir Endurance by Just Jack. Just Jack is a branch of Armoff, and they do a whole line of Tom Ford clones, and I have a couple of them, and they are very, very good. This side-by-side, -side, I almost can't tell the difference. The complexity of Noir Extreme, you know, there's the uh, sweet gourmand, very spicy elements. There's a real floral heart. There's a very sort of... Uh, fuzzy texture to the fragrance. It, it's complex, it's sweet, it's spicy, it's loud, it's long lasting. I've gotten, you know, compliments on this probably every three times I've worn it. Again, Noir Endurance by Just Jack. Really good stuff. All right, <clears throat> this next one. This one, I haven't worn that much. Um, you know, if I had the original, I don't know that I would wear it that much, but I like the idea of it more than I like the fragrance. If you are familiar with Bitter Peach, I do think it's a unisex fragrance, but it probably leans feminine. Well, this one is Mason Alhambra's Bright Peach, and it is very similar to the Tom Ford. I would say it's probably more in that, you know, 80 to 85% close range. This one is actually a little more peach forward, and there's a little bit more of a powderiness in this one than there is in the original. Nevertheless, if you like that DNA and you wear that DNA, then you would like this one. And I've heard that I've never done really a full wearing of bitter peach, you know, so I'm not crazy familiar with it, but I know what it smells like. Uh, but I've heard it's like a five or six hour fragrance. This one's more like a six or seven hour fragrance, so maybe better performance. Bright Peach by Mason Alhambra. All right, this next one. 
This one is a clone of Lost Cherry, which I actually do like a little more than Bright Peach. Still unisex, still possibly leaning a little bit feminine. This one is a uh, more synthetic version of that fragrance DNA. This is Pandora Scents, which is a part of Paris Corner. This is Boozy Cherry. This is a big bottle. I bet this is 100 ml, uh, but it's this big chunky bottle, and it smells like... Uh, it, it does smell like Lost Cherry. I'm remembering I have a 12th clone that I'm going to add to this video. I have another clone of this one that's closer. This one is, uh, you know, around, I don't know, maybe that 80% accurate or so, just because there is a synthetic vibe in this one that you just don't get with the original. Some people, like reviews online, people have said that there's something in this that reminds them of like a mix of Lost Cherry and Hasavat by Nishane. I don't really get that, but I will tell you it is a bright, tart, sweet cherry fragrance, and it's actually pretty good stuff. I've worn it, you know, four or five times, and I'll wear it again before too long. Boozy Cherry by Pandora Scents. I'm gonna grab that other one. Now, this one is weird because it's this random brand that I think only sells on Amazon. I've actually bought a few fragrances from them. This is their cheapest iteration. It's their EDP, but it's in a plastic spray bottle that looks like total garbage. But the fragrance is actually pretty dang good. And so have been the other few that I've gotten. I've got a BR540 from them that's pretty good. This is a CA Perfumes version of Lost Cherry. And this one is more accurate than Pandora Scents Lost Cherry. This is like 90% accurate to the original. And it's a good, again, six or seven hour fragrance. So even though, you know, you can get this in a glass bottle, which is much more presentable for like five bucks extra. But I think I paid $15 for this, 30 ml of Lost Cherry. And it's actually pretty good by CA Perfumes. All right, next, we're going to go with a clone of Ombre Leather that got a lot of hype when it came out because when it came out, FragranceBuy.ca had it for $12. That's when I picked it up. Now it's around $20 in a lot of places when you can find it. It's a clone of Ombre Leather by Mason Alhambra. It's called Amber and Leather. And so this stuff is basically leather you've got some spice you've got a little bit of cardamom you've got a little bit of sweetness if you're familiar with ombre leather you are going to know immediately what this is cloning but it's not blended that well just being straight up honest with you uh it to me it's like the uh, you know the accords are so separate that they your nose interprets them as ombre leather but, you know, I would give this fragrance like a six and a half, seven out of 10, probably as an ombre leather clone, uh, but it is out there. And if you don't have anything that smells like ombre leather and you can get this for cheap, then it's still a decent clone of ombre leather. On the other hand, this one that I'm gonna show you, I would put at like a nine out of 10, and it's even cheaper. If you can find it at the rack stores, you'll get it for $10. I got mine for five because it was open box. This is the original Ben Sherman Signature, and it is an awesome clone of ombre leather, but it's got a touch of Tuscan leather mixed in there. It's got a little fruitiness in the opening. This has got a little extra sweetness, maybe like 20% more sweetness than ombre leather, and because of that fruitiness and that sweetness, I absolutely prefer this to the actual ombre leather. This stuff is awesome the original Ben Sherman Signature. Pick it up if you can. It's about a good seven or eight hour fragrance. All right, this next one. This one is uh, a very interesting fragrance, the original and this clone as well. This is a clone of Neroli Portofino by Tom Ford. And to me, this is like one of those quintessential warm weather fragrances. This smells like a beautiful sunny day at the pool. It's got a little bit of something that reminds me of like a suntan oil vibe. It's got a good dose of neroli. It's got some good citruses. It's just a gorgeous warm weather fragrance. This is Mason Alhambra's Porto Neroli. And uh, man, if you can get this for around 25, 30 bucks, it is a great pickup. Uh, as is all of these Mason Alhambra clones that I've tried. 
All right, next, a fragrance that is in the same, uh, you know, in the same family, although it doesn't smell like that one, but this is another quintessential warm weather fragrance. This one is a clone of Mandarino Diamalfi, a, a, I would say lesser known Tom Ford fragrance, and this stuff is awesome. This is another Just Jack, Amalfi Coast, and this is basically a uh, sweet, citrus, green, aromatic fragrance. It's got a good dose of fruitiness, citrus, uh, and that's where the sweetness comes from, but then it's also got you know, some uh, textured aromatics with a very distinct greenness in the heart. This is a unique fragrance and one that I would highly recommend if you can pick it up. I wish that you, that there was a retailer that just stocked all the Just Jack fragrances all the time because they are really good, the ones that I've tried. All right, next up, we're going to go with one that I would say out of all these, this one is the highest quality. This is from Zoha Aroma and I've been shocked by the quality of their clones. They're a little more expensive. I think these, uh, this is I think a 50 ml bottle and I think they're around $35, maybe $40 for a 50 ml, but I think worth every penny because this is quality. This is a clone of Plum Japonais. This is Wild Plum. It's a little more boozy than Plum Japonais, but it is so amazingly good. It's got the notes right here on the side. You've got Japanese plum, cinnamon, saffron, liqueur, liqueur uh, plum blossom, and oud. This is a sweet, dark, rich, boozy, spicy oud fragrance. I think it's totally unisex, totally appropriate for a man, although I could see some guys who would smell this and say, I'm not wearing something that smells like plum blossom, but the oud and the booze and the spice to me makes it totally suitable for a man. This is good stuff, Wild Plum, a clone of Plum Japonais from Zoha Aroma. And finally, from what I understand, this is the best Oud Wood clone out there, at least certainly one of the very top Oud Wood clones. I've smelled several, and this one is very, very close to Oud Wood. It might be just a touch fresher off the top than Oud Wood, but this is Fragrance World's Oud Wonder, and uh, man, this is good stuff. I need to start wearing this again. It's springtime. I think Oud Wood is a perfect spring fragrance. It's like a fresh fabric softener uh, take on Oud. It's got some Lily of the Valley in there mixing with some woodiness. Gives it this wonderful freshness. Such a cool fragrance. Oud Wonder by Fragrance World. So that has actually been 12. Sorry, my family's getting loud. They sound like they're uh, dodging spears and other weapons out there, but everybody's safe, I can assure you. Uh, that has been 12 clone fragrances of Tom Ford Originals. Let me know down in the comments section what would you add to the list. Remember to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. This has been Siaj Sense. Thanks for watching.